Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up, is your drink drugged? A small device can tell you. We've got some crazy GoPro video from the Tour de France, and DT's car guy Nick Janes saddles up a Hellcat, and you'd better hold on. Slipping someone a Mickey may be a fun movie mainstay, but unfortunately, it's also a dirty tactic criminals use when looking to rob or rape victims in clubs and bars. So how do you protect yourself? With technology, of course, just dip the PDID, that's personal drink ID, into that Manhattan, and if you get the green light, party on. Get a red light, well, then you better recheck the guest list. The PDID quickly tests for common knockout and date rape drugs, and the tech is spun off of equipment that DEA uses, according to the developers. PDID just posted on Indiegogo, and you can buy some peace of mind for your good times right now for a $75 pledge. Drug scandals have taken some shine off of cycling's premier event, the Tour de France, but it's still as competitive as ever. Need proof? Well, the powers that be at the TDF have allowed riders to mount cameras on their bikes, and the footage shows the race to be more raw, dangerous, and competitive than you probably imagined. Plus, the speeds they ride at are just insane. We've got three great videos to watch, so hit the link below to check them out. Let's see, the top five most powerful cars include this one, this one, that one, uh, two Ferraris, and what's number six? This one, the new Dodge Hellcat. With 707 horsepower and 650 foot-pounds of torque, it is an absolute tire-shredding monster. DT's automotive editor, Nick James, just got to take one for a spin at the racetrack, and as you can imagine, he came away with a serious case of permagrin. And not just because of the Hellcat's supercharged heart, but also because it's something you can actually drive every day, and it only costs 60 grand, which is way, way less than those other five cars. Check out Nick's full review and video at the link below, which, of course, includes a fair amount of tire testing. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.